Well, my Instagram viewers picked yet again another very entertaining game to watch. Man, was this a fun one. Rangers versus Devils, December 12th, 2022. Let's get into it. So, um, before this game, the Rangers were obviously looking to win their fourth straight uh, for the first time this season. It's been kind of a struggle lately for the Rangers, kind of trying to turn this little slump around. And the Devils are coming off of, I think, a loss. Um, if I'm correct, I might be wrong. Let me check real quick. I'm pretty sure they lost the, their last game uh, before this one, but I might be wrong. Yeah, they did. Uh, they were on that New York road trip. They lost 6-4 to four against the New York Islanders. Uh, so obviously the Devils were looking to turn it around as well. Uh, Vanacek versus, versus Shesterk in your two starters. This rivalry is always fun, and boy, was it was it fun. Uh, first period, Tatar's shot was stopped. He looked active early. And then right off the faceoff from that shot, uh, Siegenthaler scores from Heischer, his second of the year, uh, to make it one nothing Devils. So really early there, the Devils were up. Uh, there was a Brad shot that was stopped, and then Mercer scores from Hughes, his eighth of the year, to make it 2 nothing Devils. Both those goals were just three minutes apart, less than three minutes apart, which is absolutely unbelievable. Um, there was a Boquist shot that was denied. Shots were 6 nothing Devils halfway. The Rangers didn't get their first shot until, I think, um, 11 or 12 minutes in. So it took them a little bit there uh, to get back on the board. Um, there was a Rangers 2-on-1 that was broken up. Um, the Rags just, like, they just kept turning over the puck. Um, they showed, like, Kermer they showed, like, replays of, like, turnovers that Jacob Truba made and how he caused both the goals. It seemed like a rep repetitive thing all this game. Not just from Truba, but from a lot of players on the Rangers, and we'll get into this in a little bit later. Obviously, the Rangers did turn around, though, and they did win uh, in overtime. Um... There was a penalty on Severson and VC. Uh, Severson for slashing, VC for roughing. Uh, so obviously four on four hockey there. Uh, there was a Tatar shot that was stopped. Uh, Heel had a shot that was stopped, and then a scrum ensued. Um, there was a lot of fighting in this game. Obviously, with a rivalry like this, there's going to be some fights. So of course, uh, Adam Fox hit the post. Uh, there was kind of back and forth hockey there, and that was kind of common throughout this game. There wasn't a ton of shots. Um, not like what we see in other games, so it was kind of, I wouldn't say it was boring, but it was kind of dull. Um, there, then there was a goal at the very end of the period from Chris Kreider, his 14th of the year from Churchek and VC, and it's 2-1 Devils heading into first intermission. Uh, shots were 7-6 to six in favor of the Rangers, though, so the Rangers actually really turned it around in that second half of the first period. They played really good. They turned it around. Moving on to the second period, though, that was when things got crazy. Uh, there was a Trocek shot that was stopped, a Marino slash shot that was stopped. There was a Smith chance that was stopped, followed by a Mercer post hit. Uh, so the Devils were really active there. And then the Rangers get a penalty. It's Libor hijack for holding. Uh, there was a Hamilton shot that was deflected out of play, and that did it for the power play. Uh, there was a Grave shot that went wide. There was a Hala penalty on. Uh, there was a Hala penalty on the Devils for roughing. Um. So then the Rangers went to the power play, and boy, was that power play active. Uh, Panarin's shot was wide. A Panarin chance was was also stopped then. Uh, a heel shot was stopped, and then a Fox chance was stopped, uh, and then the power play was killed off. But right after that power play, Eric Halla came onto the ice from his penalty, got the puck, came in, shot on Shesterkin, and was denied. Um, but then not long after that, Hughes is coming down the other way with Halla, and he scores on the backhand, 15th of the year from Mercer and Hamilton. Uh, off of a misplay by um, Alexi Lafreniere, which caused that goal. Um, Hughes tonight, very nice hands. Man, he has he has some good hands. Uh, he is a really good um, player. Uh, pretty much right after that, Hughes was tripped on a breakaway, and he got a penalty shot, which he was then denied uh, by Shesterkin. So, unfortunately, he didn't score. It would have been pretty cool if he did, but Shesterkin got him with the stick. And many would argue that is that was the turning point of the game. Um, but the Rangers were already playing good before that. Uh, then there was a penalty on Siegenthaler for interference, and then the goal started coming in. Pretty much right after that, um, Trocek scored from Fox into Vanajed, directed off of a Fox shot uh, right after the faceoff. 
uh, which made it three to two. And then ten seconds, or sorry, not ten seconds, seven seconds later, Capo Caco scores from the other way, his sixth of the year from I almost said JT Miller, uh, Keandre Miller to make it three to three, dead even, just like that. The game is tied. Uh, just absolutely crazy. Um, there was a huge shot that was stopped. Then there was a penalty on Brodzinski uh, for tripping. Uh, there was a Kreider shorthanded chance that was stopped. There was a weird bounce that nearly went in. Like, it bounced, like, off of somebody and nearly went in. But Jostorkin reached out his leg and stopped it. Pretty impressive there. Surprised he didn't, like, break his groin or, like, rip his groin or something like that. Because it looked... He was stretched out there pretty good. Uh, there was a Tatar shot that was blocked. Uh, then the power play was killed off. There was a Lafreniere shot that was stopped. And then a Brad shot that was stopped. Uh, and then it was 3-3 three to three after two periods of play. Uh, shots were actually 19 to 18 in favor of the Devils, though. So the Devils still did have the upper hand on the Rangers in shots, but the game was tied. Now on to this incredibly dull third period. This was very boring. Uh, there was a back, mainly just back and forth hockey, like defensive, wasn't a ton of shots. Uh, there was a McLeod chance that was stopped. There was a Wood shot that was stopped. Shots were 26 20 in favor of the Devils, though, so they were getting chances. Uh, there was a huge shot that was stopped. Uh, there was a wood shot that was stopped then, uh, and then there was a Kreider shot that was denied, and it was pretty much a very dull period in my opinion. Uh, then there was, a, there was a Lindgren shot that went wide, there was a Truba shot that was stopped, and then that was it for the period. You were heading into OT. Uh, obviously in overtime, actually the Devils controlled like the first half of the overtime, the first two, two minutes and 50 seconds. The Devils kind of took it over. Um, I mean, like, there was some chances there, but mainly it was kind of just, like, waiting around. Hughes was, like, holding the puck, looking for a good chance. Uh, there was a Mercer shot that went wide. Then a Severson chance happened. That was denied. The Rangers picked the puck r up right after that. Then Hill came down the other way, uh, got feeds for Panarin and Miller, and hit the post, but that puck went into the net, and he gets the OT winner. His sixth of the year, uh, he wins it for the Rangers in overtime. A much needed point for the Rangers. They win four straight for the first time this year. They have points in six of their last seven games, which I thought was very impressive for a team that people said was struggling, but they're really not. Um, uh, some stats for you here. Shots were 29 to 23 in favor of the Devils, so the Devils still had the upper hand in shots. Uh, power play was 0 for 2 Devils, 1 for 2 Rangers, uh, and then the hits were 32 to 19 in favor of New York. Three stars of the game. First star, Heedle, no surprise there. Second star, Trocek had a goal uh, that was in, on the power play. And then Hughes was the third star there as well. I thought he played very well tonight. Uh, really good hands. A nice backhand goal on Chesterkin. Thought he played really good. Uh, but yeah, that does it for yet again another game review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, for us, portals late. really do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe down below. If you are new, again, apologies for like the inconsistency of game reviews. We're going to do another tomorrow, and then we're going to do two more next week because I'm, I'm booked for like the next couple weeks. I've, I'm really busy. Uh, so I might not even do one tomorrow. I might be too tired to do one or I might be too busy. I don't, I don't know. Honestly, we'll see. We'll see if I do a game review. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.